case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the late 18th century, the United States Circuit Court for the District of Vermont was the stage for a case that would echo through the annals of American history. The essence of the case lay in the interpretation of the Sedition Law, which outlaws false, scandalous, and malicious writings against the government, but also allows the defendant the right to present evidence validating the content of their publication. Matthew Lyon, a self-made congressman known for his opposition to the incumbent administration, found himself at the center of the storm. Accused of publishing seditious libels following the passage of the law, Lyon vehemently defended his conduct in court. Despite his protestations about the apparent bias of two jurors due to their hostility towards him, the judge ruled that political antagonism was not a valid ground for objection. The appeal to the constitutionality of the sedition law fell on deaf ears, as did Lyon's claim to the innocent nature of his published letter. Instead, the court focused on the intention behind Lyon's actions. Did he intend to make the current government a subject of contempt? The answer, as the court saw it, was a resounding yes. Lyon was found guilty and received a sentence of four months in prison, a fine of $1,000, and an order to pay the costs of his prosecution. While in custody, Lyon faced severe hardships including denial of his papers and threats of placement in a harsh dungeon-like room. He was also initially denied the use of a pen and ink, unless everything he wrote was approved by the marshal, raising protests from Lyon's friends and family members. The marshal eventually relented, allowing the embattled congressman to use writing materials without supervision. Remarkably, Lyon's political career didn't suffer during his ordeal. During his prison sentence, he won re-election to the House of Representatives, where he continued to voice his opposition. Ultimately, his actions would play a significant part in Vermont's departure from the federal party. In a significant twist, Lyon's initial penalty was later repaid with interest, as his fine was returned to his legal representative through a bill passed on July 4, 1840. The committee report in repudiating the principles of Lyon's trial signaled an end to the sedition law. This represented a final denunciation of its doctrines, marking a final victory for Lyon, 40 years after the contentious legislation was enacted. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.